Ladies and gentlemen, desertification and land degradation are growing challenges. So are droughts, as they are more widespread, prolonged, and frequent over the past decades. They lead to hunger and poverty, drive unemployment, forced migration, and in many cases, turn to conflicts. And unfortunately, climate change is accelerating that path. Over a third of the planet's land surface is actually degraded. Because of this, up to 5 million hectares of fertile soil an area approximately the size of Costa Rica is lost every year. How can we stop this? We need national managed policies to face the impact of climate change. We need to shift from emergency response to proactive policy and long-term planning to reduce risks and build greater resilience. We need to use new technologies and support policies and incentives for a rational management of the sea and water resources. We cannot avoid a draw, but we can avoid it to turn into a famine if we act properly. We also need to grow more crops that are tolerant to draw and mature fast and we need to restore degraded land. Recent achievements in the restoration of sustainable land management show that progress in this area is possible. Take Africa's Great Green Wall, for example, which covers 780 million hectares, more than twice the size of India. FAO's Action Against Desertification Initiative has paved the way for large-scale restoration to help those who need it most, the small-scale farmers. Now, this initiative keeps growing in Africa, the Caribbean, and the Pacific. Let us all remember this World Day to combat desertification and drought as a way to call leaders for bold actions. They will help people adapt to a changing climate and to live better lives. Thank you for your attention.